This is the first video about applications of Cauchy's theorem in complex analysis. This simple equation has deep consequences in physics and applied mathematics. In this video, we'll see one of them in hydrodynamics and fluid mechanics. In this context, the potential flow describes the flow of an incompressible and irrotational fluid. Translating it into mathematical terms, we have a complex potential function f of z written as phi of xy plus i psi of xy, where phi is the velocity potential and psi the stream function. If the flow is irrotational, then the curl of the velocity field is zero. And the velocity field here, which is a vector field, is defined as the gradient of the velocity potential phi, such that the velocity potential phi is a scalar field on the complex plane. We can see that if we calculate the divergence of the gradient of phi, we get this which is basically the Laplace operator acting on phi. If the fluid is incompressible, then the divergence of the velocity field is zero. So in this case, when the Laplace operator acts on phi, the velocity potential, actually it is the divergence acting on the velocity field. And therefore this equation, which is called Laplace's equation, is the mathematical expression of the physical phenomenon of an incompressible fluid. So in conclusion, Irrotational means that, and incompressible means that. We talked about the real part of the function f of z, namely the scalar field, velocity potential, phi. Let's see now the imaginary part, psi of x, y, known as the stream function. This is a scalar function whose contours represent streamlines of the flow. So basically, these are curves that are tangent to the velocity field at every point on the complex plane. Okay, great. But what about the application of Cauchy's theorem? Well, the conditions of Cauchy's theorem are the following. F must be holomorphic or differentiable. The region D must be simply connected. And the curve gamma must be closed and piecewise smooth. Our complex potential function F is holomorphic if it is differentiable everywhere in the region D. And this is true when the Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied, mathematically speaking, or physically speaking, when the flow is irrotational and incompressible, in which case f of z is called a harmonic function, which means that both phi and psi satisfy Laplace's equation. So Cauchy's theorem here implies that the circulation around the curve gamma of this type in the flow field is zero. The circulation is defined as the line integral of the velocity field around gamma. For such a rotational flow, we say that there is no net twisting motion around the curve gamma. In conclusion, Cauchy's theorem here tells us that for a fluid with these conditions, you'll never find twists inside such a region D. So this is a physical prediction that comes from a mathematical condition. And I think it's just beautiful. Please let me know what kind of contents you would like to see in the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. See you guys there.